have a look there. Instead I've got this tap action double barrel pistol here, flint lock, concealed trigger. You may have seen this in a, a, a previous unboxing video. And got the folding trigger, which of course spring needs attention. Suspect the um, trigger retaining spring is the problem, although it looks like it might have had a bit of work on that trigger. That's not completely flush there. And today I'm going to start getting into it. Um, so I think the first thing to do is strip it down a bit. Okay, that screw is not interested in coming out. Um, Using a bigger screwdriver tip and just applying that little bit of heat. I do want to try and save this screw. It's just turning now. And it's snapped off. Brilliant. doesn't actually look too bad in there so that's good if we go here it all looks fairly good in there okay just try and preempt some problems There's a small amount of damage there. It's not too bad though.
chances of this coming out slim to none. Oh, no, it's absolutely free. Brilliant. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Might as well get these barrels soaking. That's good and free as well. And that is a blessing. Why has that got no in? That's it. Now that's in very nice condition. Why is this showing no signs of. What am I missing? There's a screw under there. Right. Oh, there should be another screw there as well. I suppose the option is to undo that and remove. He's out.
that search couldn't get enough purchase with the smaller screwdriver. should separate from that that's it right so missing a screw there that's very loose that's good Good. Trigger return spring looks like a replacement. Spring for the tap. That's good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit rough and ready, but if it works, it works. Now there is going to be our problem. flush in there, this spring, it looks, it feels, it feels fairly firm, hmm. a bit yeah it's not not contact it should be pushing further down okay I think the problem is this is a replacement spring it's too long and then when the trigger is down this spring should be contacting the lug just under there but it's being prevented from making full contact with it because it's too long and the spring is hitting the frame there so I think we just need to remake that spring and we should be good okay if we can get this screw out
So there's the lug that that spring should act on to keep it when it's concealed keep it nice and tight and then when it's down to uh, keep it nice and firm when it's out I think there's been a repair to this I think the trigger snapped there and it's been braised back together and, uh, hmm. So now we need to just get this off. So I'm going to try and punch this out. There we go. Okay, so that's a super little piece of engraving there. It's very nice. Very nice. So now I'm going to try and get these barrels off. I'm going to use the old screwdriver in the barrel trick. Oh yes, nice. Oh brilliant, brilliant, they didn't fight me. I am very pleased about that. Just did not have to want to be going through heat and clamps and that's very nice indeed. So what I need to do now is, uh, I'm not sure whether to clean these first. Yeah, I think I'll boil everything first and then uh, look at uh, making the repair. So now I'm going to look at this uh, uh, butt and we've got a broken off screw in there so that is going to have to be removed. So I'm just going to investigate how I can get that out. So anyway, these uh, both these uh, holes would need to be refilled, replugged. So I'm going to give this uh, uh, but a bit of a clean up. Just using some um, methylated spirits and a toothbrush to get the grime out. Um, still a bit of dirt in there, so I'm going to use a very soft brass brush. I think that looks a lot better. 
It's really got in there and got the, uh, the grime out of the checkering. So now I'm just going to put some wax, just using some Colron finishing wax. So now I'm just going to buff it off. Okay, so that looks a lot better, free of uh, the grime and dirt, and it's come out tonight. Quite a nice colour, quite a nice natural colour. Bit of uh, wax just to bring a sheen onto it, and you know it'll be lovely that when when it's been handled. Yep, very pleased with that. So now I'm going to plug these holes um, so we can put new screw, new screw uh, holes in there. should do the trick just leave those to dry and we can clean it up so the boiling is complete and now I need to um, card the remaining uh, the rust off these um, some of these parts do look like they um, have a little bit of finish left on them so I'm good on the bigger parts I'm going to use uh, my big carding wheel to uh, clean them up. And now I've found, as I've been cleaning this, I found out why there was a screw missing on the top of the lock because uh, it's been been broken off it's obviously rusted in there so that will need to be drilled out looks like someone's already had a go at it but uh, that'll have to come out um, and another interesting feature on this uh, pistol which I didn't immediately recognize was um, rollers on the frizzen um, which um, aid the smoothness of the frizzen opening. Um, a proper Rolls Royce job on this pistol. Now, one of them, I didn't really want to take these apart, but one of them is a bit is uh, 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 stuck, so these will have to come apart and uh, be uh, thoroughly cleaned. in there um, give that a clean and then uh, put it back together and it'll be fine
so needs uh, thinning out there to get past that part of the trigger. Is it going to be okay with the return spring? I think we could just shave a bit off, but yeah, it should be alright. Still needs a bit more. Fraction more. Okay, that looks good now. fouling on the side of the lock, it's in the lug, so now we need to take that much off there, put it back in and I've left a lock on, now you can see it is, it is still just too long because when the trigger goes down and that'll be pushing that might yeah that might work yeah okay um, what we need to do now is just take out some material out of that spring Okay, so um, the spring needs bending more, uh, more of a bend in it there, actually. And it, no, it might be all right. That trigger fits poorly. Yeah, it does need a bit more of a bend, but, and I need to harden it, so. Do that.
Okay, so uh, the spring is done now and I can start hopefully putting this thing back together. Now, uh, on the trigger, I have had to make some alterations because what I suspect has happened with it is when it's been repaired, it's lengthened the trigger, which is why it didn't fit particularly well. Um, but I think I've got that sorted. So, I'm going to put some um, of this barricade liberally in the lock and basically all over the gun. Um, this stuff is really, really good at preventing rust.
made some new screws for this other side here. I had to drill it out um, and then tap it for a 3mm screw um, and I've made a screw to go to, go, that's the original one. Um, that one, so took a 3mm bolt or cheese head screw rather and um, cut it down, made a new head on it. Fortunately, these are going to be hidden by the safety mechanism. I've taken the gun apart again and um, I've made a new uh, pin to go through uh, the trigger and the sear and it does fit a lot better and I'll tap it home and then file off the excess. The trigger, I have filed it, filed little bits off and it does now seem to fall into place quite well and hold there so um, that's all good um, the screws that I took out of the grip were pretty manky obviously one broke um, and the other was quite corroded so I've got some new ones here which I think fit the holes quite well I think that's about as good as it's going to get, so that's quite nice, that's nice. Okay, I um, have managed to find a, a flint for it, so what I'm going to do now is just refit the last part of the safety. That hopefully should be it now. Not working. Makes spark as well. Excellent. Seems to fold in quite nicely. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, repair on this uh, really nice uh, double barrel tap action pistol. Um, this one is in very good order um, and it's a good maker um, lots of features you know the safety um, good engraving rollers on the frizzen there um, yeah it's you know the, the engraving chasing there is still very very crisp very nice um, yeah it's uh, look at that rose out there that's lovely 
Um, yeah, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that repair and uh, thanks for watching.